Um, approval of the May minutes. So moved. There was a correction on the date for the next uh, meeting. It was whatever it was today. Today it was 28. Anyways, the date was wrong. Just the, the not okay. the day of the week. Just the, just the, gotcha. the number. The, the number. number. The yeah. All right. No problem. Visitors comments? Visitors? Who from the city is participating? And yeah, there's no one here from the city, Stacy. Are we allowed to have a meeting without a representation from the city? Yes. I guess we are, yeah. Um, uh, as far as I know. Yes, it's happened in the past. It, did Eric give a tell us he was not going to be at the meeting? This morning. I did not get a notice, but Fran uh, was there, this morning. I got a text this morning. Is there anybody else that we can ask to sit in his place? Um, yeah. Short notice, I don't think so. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, I understand your displeasure with this, and I am as same as you are. Um, so I just don't know what I just learned about it two minutes ago. So yeah, no, I'm just curious if we could just somebody could walk over and invite somebody else that's on that, you know, like Marie Pebbles and see if she, or people see if she would like to sit in and just tell her, you know, we all are having issues we need to talk to the city about today. Is there anybody that is willing to sit in and take notes from the actual city and maybe could answer a couple of questions on what we need to do that way? I be anyone that's in tune to what we're doing. Yeah, I don't know who that would be besides Eric or Maria. I don't know where to find them. I could go start searching the halls. <laughs> I mean, there's like three offices right here. next to you. Huh? One being the mayor, no one being Jen Starkey, and one being Marie. And I'm wondering if we just want to invite somebody in. I think it's too short a notice. I mean, somebody's, yeah. somebody has to plan to be able to be at this meeting. Well, should we reschedule till Tim is in so we don't have to wait another month to have a, a conversation that really needs to take place? I think what we could do is, is as an organization, we could get together a bunch of questions that we have and concerns that we have and have Fran relay those to Eric. How does that sound? I mean, documented in them, be documented in the minutes. Um, that's, I mean, Eric generally, I mean, he does take notes here, but everything is documented in the minutes as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have no visitors, which is great. <laughs> Let me just ask oh, me, oh, okay. because everybody's looking at me. No, no I'm not looking at you. No, I'm the representative. For the Webster and Police Department right. is not my place to go find people, uh, so I don't want you to think that why am I just sitting here? Oh no no no! <laughs> I, was, I, was, so, I was not looking at you for that. I no, promise you, I wasn't. I, I was. No, not, I, 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 don't, I don't look at me. No, no I was. No, I promise you. I no. We were just looking around the room because there is a lot that we have going on. And yeah. you, you, you've been, you know, you may not even know everything that's going on, but there's a lot that's going on that. A lot of miscommunication between our organization and being related to the city or parks department or the parks department or they don't even care we just don't know what it is but it is unlike anything i've never seen so when my, nobody's looking at you i promise you that okay, nobody's can, expecting you to my chain of command <laughs> yeah go get the mayor right now <laughs> i know where she lives <laughs> yeah she gets she is trying to get a raise from three hundred to five hundred dollars a year. So <laughs> never earned it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um. So we're gonna. It's it's gonna be a little bit weird, but we're not gonna have a parks department services update um, because no one's here. Um, I guess one thing I would like to be relayed in the minutes is again we. We voted not, we voted to have the hanging baskets on this side of um, 
Lockwood, um, and they were not put up there. They were put up in the wrong place. We attempted to notify the city immediately as soon as we noticed this was happening. Um, I actually went out and talked to the Parks Department. They told me I was crazy. I didn't know what I was talking about. Um, I then contacted the city, and they said it would be corrected, and it has still not been corrected. And supposedly the pots were going to be put out large pots they have they're just gone i guess i don't know i don't know where any of the large pots are um there's a bunch of small pots that have been put around in places and that, but there are i don't know how many large pots we had but i would assume that we had probably eight to ten or at least and there's just not anywhere um that's not what our organization voted on and it's also not what we paid for um the budget in the budget which should be from last year, the money that was taken out. Um, that should be for what we are seeing now. And, and that was not done as well. So I'd like to know where our large pots are. I'd also like to know, is there gonna be an amendment to our budget that parks took out because we are now paid this less expensive way that they wanted to move forward with. We just didn't feel it was right in our business district with our large, large sidewalks as compared to old orchards, which they don't have large sidewalks. Um, and that's why we moved, make an educated decision where the area where there weren't large sidewalks to move the hanging baskets to that were not put in place. So big concern there. Um, second thing, I guess, is gonna be the, um, and I, there's nothing else, we have to just look around the city and see what we can do, but the, we have as this organization when we have special events we have typically had a little kiosk or a tent an information tent which was down at the entrance to the parking garage um we relayed that to the city that we wanted to have enough room there to be able to put a tent up there is no more room there now that was put up in a too big a space so we have to find another space supposedly i don't know where that's going to be stacy doesn't know where that's going to be um to put that tents or that information booth. Um, and so another disappointing thing that is oh, happening. Ron, Ron I'll, I'll correct it. They need to come back and fix that. They need to come back and refill that second potting thing. I mean, we need that space right there and we need that, need that now. We did not agree that they could come in and do that to our area. They need to come back and fix it. We said they could do one, by the stairs, but they need to come back and refill that one so that we can have that space back. That's where we also host bands when we do like Walktoberfest. That is the most centrally located space. Not only that, but that's where we talked about putting a kiosk too, if we eventually do a kiosk. I mean, and not only did they plant or um, put planters there, but now they're overgrown with weeds. They're not even flowered. So that's our comments to the city. Um, we'd like some of those things addressed, I guess. I don't know what else to say. Um, anyone else have any comments? Can we put it in writing, a, a, a let, letter from yeah, us? Good. I know we have the, yeah, this is the minutes, right. mm -hmm. but do they always read the minutes? I sure hope so. As of right now, Walktoberfest does not have a home. So we might not be able to move forward with Walktoberfest this year because I'm unable to get um, the application filled out for it without having a home for that. And the home would have been where the planting area is? Yeah. Yes. I put that in the letter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's diminish our ability to promote the area. Yeah. Any other comments from anybody? Um, the park benches, what is going on with that? Because there's four park benches that are like hazardous park benches at this point on the street. 
So last I knew with park benches is that we replaced the, a bunch that were broken. Um, then, um, although they were not replaced with the ones that this organization voted on, they were the ones I voted on, but I was the only one I think. <laughs> but that was not anything to do with me, I promise you. And I, I also, we have also let Eric know that we didn't feel that was right, but they said the city just went ahead and um, decided that that our organ that we were wrong in our decision, and they just overrode our decision. So, so so far, three things we have voted on that we have spent lengthy amount of time discussing at this table and coming in for meetings have been overridden by the city. It appears that is the, it, 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 you could say that. Um, it could also be tremendous miscommunication between our organization and the parks department, I guess, maybe, or whoever, you know, I don't know. I have no idea what it is, but. And that's why it's important that the city needs to be here, especially today, and no one is here. That communication chain is Eric primarily, is that correct? Yes. A hundred percent. He is 100% the communication chain from us to parks. Yes. So, can we send an invitation to parks to join us at a future meeting? At yeah. this point, I don't think we need to talk to parks. We need to figure out why, why they are not doing what we are asking them to do or we're paying them to do. Voted. You know, it's not, yeah, I mean, th this is all on record for, for the city. So uh, this is not something that we need to talk to parks about right now, because we're not we're not in control of parks, but but whoever is, whether, whether it's Eric or uh, whatever, uh, they need to explain to us why we're voting to spend this money this way, and it's not being spent, it's totally opposite everything of what we said we wanted. So we, we need we need the city to do it, not parks, um, because we, we can't tell parks what to do. It, it's, it's, Eric needs to be here right now at this meeting. I guess my question would be, not having been on the committee for very long, is we're an advisory commission. So really our role is to just make recommendations, share advice, but they will trump. They have the power to trump what we recommend. The the council has the power to do that, um, but we are vote. We this is this is the the taxation district. We are in charge of a certain budget, a certain amount of money, and we are voting to have this money done. And as Stacy said, this is three instances right now that we have voted and said let's do this with our money, and they have not done it. If you want, to, if there's a council member that's here that says we overwrote, that's fine. I've got no problem with that. But there's no council member here. There's no assistant city manager here. There's nobody here to rebuke any of this stuff. That's what we need. We need somebody here to say why these things have not done when we voted, because that's why that's why we're here. We, we've been appointed by the council. Again, if the council says, they said, we decided to do these things over you, that's fine. That's not a problem. I, I have no problem with that. But it, as far as I know, that has not happened on any of these three occasions. In the 10 years I have sat on this board, I have never seen this happen. I'm sure Joe can, and anybody else who has been on this board for this amount of time. I, just, I agree with you 100%. Is there any reason to continue without government involvement? That waste. Really? It sounds like a waste of our time. I would be happy to come back uh, next Tuesday or, or well, whatever it is, <laughs> um, and, and, and redo this whole thing. Might be hard to get. Should we meet on the street in Lockwood? There should be a lot of politicians. <laughs> yeah. The we'll mayor, get, we'll, the we'll, the mayor. we'll get them in the parade. I I vote to reschedule this meeting. I or whatever we need to do. I make a. We can have another special meeting. I mean, we, we we there are a couple 
sprite notes, we can talk about the street dance feedback and update and how well that went, which I think it went extremely well. That's Dave, Dave ran it from France. From France. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, Jeff, Jeff, this update, I mean, here, look, this was in the West Kirkwood Times, pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Front of press there, front page. Um, and, but really, like it was Joe and Dan and the rest of this group that really did all the light work. Um, and I, I only hope that I can run it as well next year. Yes, you will. You did a great well, job. Dan did an awful lot of it this year. I disappeared the day out. Yeah. I spent the day in the ER. Oh. Mary's well, though, right? Yeah, she's doing fine. Good. Slain. <clears throat> How did it? Did, 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 yeah. How did you guys fare? So we did well. Good. Um, yeah, the turnout was what we were hoping for. The weather that you guys ordered was perfect. I made some calls. Uh, and and you you <laughs> um, send, a, send a jet cream the right way. Um, we, uh, you know, I think that we had enough staff and enough food, um, and people seem to enjoy everything. Uh, the with perennial. I think that they're going to work on their marketing and their presentation uh, to do future events so they can have pictures of the food and make it more clear what they're serving. Um, I think that that would help their sales. I know that they had a lot of food left over um, and it was kind of their signage was a little bit smaller. So we'll. But you they, all ran out of food a couple of times? We ran out twice. So okay. we went back and took all of the. Burger patties that were destined for uh, Sunday lunch and took all of those. <laughs> so, so Ran to like, Sam's. Really quick. No, we, had, we, had, we had our prep guys come in an hour early to, to get us set up again for uh, for Sunday lunch. That's great. Yeah, That's I amazing. Awesome, I think it's an awesome event for the city. A nice yeah. give back. Not selling anything. It's just a cool event. So I think it's yeah. awesome. Um, Thanks, then, guys. <laughs> Thank you. The uh, Jazz Fest update. Well, we have a meeting today. Yes. So we'll know more about funding. Uh, actually, not until July 1st. But yeah. So we, everything's going on track for that. Yeah. We don't see anything that'll stop it from being what it typically is. No. I mean, the bands are all booked and sponsorships are more or less in line. Everything is coming along very well for that. Good. I guess we have no status on any revenue, no business license, anything. Um, no BD, a BDC update, Tim, do you have anything small? Uh, no, um, we are just discussing in general the uh, uh, feedback from our coffee and uh, what we want to do uh, next time in our meeting in, uh, I think it's November, uh, or in our not meeting, but uh, our next coffee that we're going to do in November. No, uh, August. 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 Yes, that's right. It's going to be in February and August is what we've decided right. um, on an annual basis. Uh, so we're just figuring out how we want to tackle um, uh, the August meeting. All right, so I, um, I want to apologize that this was a waste a little bit for all of us, and everybody got up early and got here and still need... go run a business, but uh, I don't think there's anything else. Um, Rizul, any so crime anywhere? <laughs> I'd like to make a comment and kudos to our parking patrol. One of my employees did get a ticket for parking on the street longer than two hours nice. she was a little upset but she goes i understand i shouldn't be there and i'm glad they're patrolling um yeah i guess i guess i need to make one other comment about to the city um our two-hour parking signs um that didn't make it on here which we would yeah, like it's number b oh i apologize i decorative parking sign update i'm sorry about that do we have an update on that have we tim have we done no, and somebody actually reached out to me, um, and I did not get back with them uh, about that. I will do that. Um, I'll try to do that today. Um, so um, if we have another meeting here shortly, uh, I can try and update on that then. Okay. I guess one of the issues is 
that now the potted plants that are up in the on the poles they're now blocking the two hour parking sign limits okay. so um, they're growing out and growing on them over them and so i don't know that Officer Russell, yeah, that's gonna be difficult. I mean, I hate to say that. I mean, I don't, you know, I was like, yeah, it's hard to write a ticket to somebody when you're like, I have a picture here. It's like, it's, so right, you can't really see. Picture, yeah. right. right. So that's gonna be a, another issue. Um, I just don't know what to say. I have no idea. Um, so before, I guess we just need to know what's gonna happen with the potted plants because those signs are irrelevant as they are now. So, um, that's it. Would somebody, does anybody have time in the next couple of days um, to, I'll, I'll do in front of the old Reliable Life building and on our block um, in front of 36 Lockwood, uh, but the benches, can we all assess the benches and take pictures? Because I know there's a couple that are, majorly broken if okay, somebody yeah. would go down four and then maybe somebody go in front of like clover and b or something can we i'll i'll do it? it i'll walk around and look at all the benches actually i can do it not a big deal do you know how so, many there are so you know how many you're looking for i don't know i'll i'll, I'll find them it's not a problem okay. it's not a very it's not huge and then um yeah my understanding that was supposed to happen was that we were taking some of the benches and removing the, some of the slats that were broken and replacing some of those and trying to make, we had two broken benches, we could make one good bench and that's what was supposed to happen. Um, and that's what we voted on. And we also voted to buy the same new one, but then the metal ones were the brand new replacement ones. Those are the ones that are in front of uh, La Macaroon. And, and that's what the city placed in. Old Orchard and other places, they just they bought the same bench for the right, time. exactly. Um, so <laughs> I don't, I don't know. So I guess I don't know what happened to the benches they took out, and I, I guess they did not go back and re repair part of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not exactly sure. So I don't, I don't think it's a bad. I mean, I, I'm gonna, I'd like to know. If it's parks, it's not getting the correct information, or if there's there somewhere is a giant communication breakdown, just enormous. And um, I would I don't I would like for some of the parks to be here to to just see where that communication breakdown is. Well, uh, then you have to get with Eric and see if it's with uh, my guess is that it's with Scott. Okay. That has to be. <clears throat> okay. That's who runs parks. Uh, yeah, he's the director. He's the director of parks and recreation. Okay. He's Yvonne's boss, and, and I've never met him. Before. So is it Yvonne who actually? She works. She's the parks supervisor. She's parks supervisor. Okay. But uh, Scott is her boss, and he's the one that. I'm personally also confused. I mean, oh, I hope this doesn't bite me in the butt. Um. Years ago, <laughs> yeah. Don't say um, it. <laughs> a couple of years ago, um, you know, when Mara sat here, there was a lot of pushback from the city about what you were allowed to put out in front of your business, like types of pots needed to be approved, um, you know, your seating area, things like that. Um, and I've noticed in the past year, year and a half, that seems like it has just gone to shit. Like that nobody really cares. Nobody is monitoring anything. Um, you can just put whatever you want next to the curb on the street, not have it approved. I mean, is that, is it just me that's noticed that? Um, I, I don't a hundred percent disagree with what you're saying. Um, it, uh, I think that some businesses have put their own pots and plants out in front of their places. Um, and not in front of their places. Okay. Next to the curb on the streets. 
you're talking about like chairs and pots. pots. I'm talking about CJ mugs. Okay. So uh, in front of CJ mugs, there's all those plastic pots that line the street in front of their business. Right. And here's the deal. I don't really care. The only reason I'm bringing this up is I remember sushi station having to bend over backwards to get the correct pots for their business. And I'm just confused on, did we lose a department? Do we, did something happen? What, what, where did, when and where did this change? And what is the change? I, I'm not, I haven't looked at, I haven't paid so close attention to CJ Muggs in particular. But I know they've had some, they've had plants out there for a number of years, you know, eating out there yeah. on, 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 they had these white plants that kind of are a little bit of a border between the parking and where you're sitting, which is right next to their building. Mm -hmm. I, that's been going on for a long it's time. It's been going on a long time. And they mm -hmm. kind of did that. They said kind of a safety thing to keep pedestrians onto the sidewalk instead of walking out into the street. Mm -hmm to make it more different but a lot of that came with COVID and uh, it's never been re enforced after that and I, I do believe that there's a need for enforcement and clean up on um, some of the uh, tent signs and such that are have proliferated in the area and I and and the you're allowed to have a sandwich sign out in front of your business, but you're also supposed to pull it in every night. You're also supposed to make sure that there's three feet to walk in the sidewalk. The, yeah. So I, I think also Clover and the Bee has that same type of barrier with plants next to their seating outside. Um, I know that somebody has over run over those plants too which if they more than one occasion yeah and so those you know um now they have a, a bollard there but you know so i think that it's not a horrible idea to have them there but you know as long as they look good i mean i i i, I believe that they're they are creating more of a barrier where hopefully somebody sees them they didn't see them when they ran those giant pots <laughs> right. so but it's not only the cars it's also the pedestrians the kids and the people just having a not stepping out onto the street at stepping out of mm -hmm. That's I'm I am all about that and I'm all about like being able to pick and do what you want on in front of your business. Um, but I'm wondering if there needs to be some guidelines or standards um, that are met for that. I believe there are standards and guidelines in place. It's a matter of enforcing them. So would that be something listed in the like the charter or where where would that even be? There's sidewalk cafe permits for anybody sitting tables and chairs up on the sidewalk. Um, there's also I think streetscape rules in there what you're allowed to put outside that's all in the code okay right now. Yeah. during special everything. events though when the sidewalk sale and that yeah, starts happening what's i'm supposed to have a special special right permit for that. Yeah, well we fill out don't we fill out a permit form for that a request when we right. do those events i know when we do holiday open house or anything that i don't know if the sidewalk sale we fill one out but i wouldn't be surprised if we do I think that's, there's a yeah. you have to bring it to licensing um well, just a request to use city property but it's a district event and, uh, do we the, assume that that's been taken care of yes mm -hmm. it has not unless there's something that affects I mean, closing a street or yeah. using something yeah. that yeah. has to go past yeah, uh, the approval of the other businesses in the district, we don't do one. No, there are, it has to be three feet of passability on the sidewalk, which is the normal stuff. Mm -hmm. Wait, which no complex, no permits, right? Correct. Which on the like the sidewalk sale, 
has always been kind of ignored for that one day. I mean, uh, they the city's always wanted to make a positive thing, let people do what they need to do for a single event or whatever. But on the day to day basis, you need to follow these guidelines, mm -hmm. and they haven't been being mm -hmm. enforced or put out. It just seems like all of a sudden it stopped being enforced at some point and never got picked back up. And I just want to make sure it doesn't get out of control in five years from now. Then we have a bigger problem on our hands. I, I agree there needs to be uh, some enforcement. I don't know who the enforcement comes from. I don't believe it's from Officer Rowley. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think we should just with that like just kind of bring it up to Eric I don't even have to be the one to talk so it can go quicker but if somebody when we have the meeting next week could also bring that up with him and just say um something that we've noticed that it has not been, you know. Mm -hmm. And that may be something that we have to have Fran send out an email to every business about what those codes are and, and just remind, 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 remind businesses and, mm -hmm. you know. And you could word it like, hey, it's been a little lax since COVID, but we need to start mm -hmm. getting this under control. Yeah, I think it was that. Is it that from Fran or would that come from the city? Well, well, it, can, it would be coming from the city, but it can be coming from this commission, uh, from a from Fran as a um, courtesy of the city of Webster email. Uh, it does need to be approved. It should be approved by Eric or whatever to be sent out. But uh, whether it's from this commission or from planning and development or from Eric or wherever, uh, it just needs to have a City of Webster email. It shouldn't be from us. It should be from the city as these are the codes. It's not, right. well, we're not yeah. enforcement. Right, that's true. Right, we're, we're, right. Yeah. We're, we're just letting the city know what we see in our district. Exactly. And saying, hey, look, this is a problem. This is a potential problem. Who's in charge of fixing this problem um, and preventing future problems? So we just need to find out who's in charge of that and follow up with them and maybe an email to them about it, and then. I see what pressure. I agree. With you. Yeah. I feel, I feel like our the general consensus is we're feeling as as a group that our voice is not being heard. Mm -hmm. We are we're meeting once a month for an hour and coming up with ideas and it's being filed away and they're doing what they want to do. So what is the purpose of us gathering and sharing this input if it really everybody feels that way? Well, you, you know, That's exactly what yeah. we need. So all the concerns. Yeah. yeah, right. We yeah. You have no value. <laughs> It's just sad because it did not used to be like that. That's this correct. is new. We're we gonna reconvene in two weeks. I, we'll do it by Zoom or you know, so right? Something less formal. Um, I think it should be as formal right here in this room. Mm -hmm. All right, but it'll be. Uh, we'll have to be when you have to get Eric's schedule on the availability of the room. Two weeks from now is. Uh, old archery, is it? Or the 13th is uh, old archery. We're going to be four weeks from now, anyway. Yeah, that's. I don't think we should wait too long if we're not going to, if we're going to, if the city is going to let us know where we can do Oktoberfest at, because I need to yeah. either put that behind me for this Just year see. or. Let's keep moving forward with Oktoberfest, Stacey, and then we'll find. 
we can make. I we can't fill I, out. I I'll, can't. I have fill an out idea, things. but we need to go look at. Oh, okay. So we'll we'll see if we can get you a spot to put the, on the form. And get Thank you. you. Do you have any dates you want to shoot for? Well, <laughs> can't do the fourth. We can't do the eleven. <laughs> well, can we do the six, six, eight, six seven? Oh. Is, there, is there anything in this room? Six. There's, there's no uh, commission meeting on six. On the sixth. Yeah, all the commission meetings start the second week, so that's still the first week. Okay. You and I can che I can check if it's available. This is really like make sure he's in. That's kind of a short week, and they might take the whole week off. That is possible. Um, I guess approach. We could do the sixth, and then the wow. We need to do the fifth, sixth, seventh next week, any day next week. And then so let's find out here. Yeah, yeah. kind of, and then we can set the date. There's no sense in setting without no one. Do, do we also want to invite a um, council member because they technically are who appointed yes. us? Well, Emerson's normally on. Emerson, yeah, we yeah, want Emerson a like, times on. He's yeah. usually here, exactly. he's just not here today, just perfect storm of whatever. Um, but yeah, I would like for him to be here as well. So I guess um, we have to find out his schedule, Eric's schedule. Um, Eric and Emerson. And, Emerson. And, then, and then we'll shoot dates with us, get their schedule, and then we can figure a date. Okay. Yeah, we get signed in the twenties, and it's just next week. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go around look at benches. I'll get an update for that meeting as well. And uh, what else do we have to do besides? I guess that's really about it. Um, Tim, you're going to try to look into the signs a little bit, even though we have. Yes, I will. I will call whoever reached out to me about okay. it. Okay. All right. I'll take a picture of the parking pad area. The not parking pad. The the new country garden. Country garden. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll bring that picture. Okay. Okay. So we're adjourned. Thank you guys. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh. Thanks.